Shot! 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 <laughs> What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play. Let's race to real Sunshine 2. No, oh, excuse me. Um, if you're new to my channel, you'll have no idea what the heck this is. I'm sorry, I'm kind of yelling there. Uh, this is my um. My kind of versus, kind of a little bit. Uh, if you guys know uh, uh, Tacky Toucan, Josh Jepson, they're doing their versus of uh, Super Mario Sunshine 2, and they invited everybody of their audience to play along with them. And I, while I have been doing that, I haven't had time to record. Why is that? I mean, I would normally have time to record, and I've been recording other series, so why has this series gone so long without an update? Where, where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Uh, th yeah, the reason why I haven't had time to record this is because for their episode 8, they did a drunken episode. And, um, normally I go out in my days off. Seriously, where the heck is he? The hell? Where did he go? What? What, what am I stuck on? Uh, yeah, so, um, I haven't had time to record a drunken episode. I hear it's getting louder. I don't want to just give up. Where the hell? That's right, this is my drinking episode that I'm finally posting, like, two months later at least. More than that. Seriously, where did he go? I've gone everywhere. I've gone around the entire track he runs around. Do you guys see him? I sure as hell don't. Is he back over to where he started? He is! What the hell, Mario? I freaking hate you, asshole. Um, yeah, so, the rules for the drinking contest are... Um, blah, blah. you have to take one uh, shot every five minutes, and what I did at the beginning of this uh, episode was I took a shot right at the beginning. Is that word that kind of weird? But, um, and every five minutes subsequently after that, I take another drink. Uh, can you die, please? Seriously, holy crap! There we no! I thought you were done, son! I don't got none unless you got buns, hun, or something. There we go, seriously, holy crap. Holy crap. All right, so yeah, and also every shot I get, I also take a drink. Actually, no, I take um, three sips of beer or something. Shoot, and I was just about to rocket jump too. Yeah. Oh, what do we do now? Hmm, there's actually quite a few things I could do here. And every blue coin I get, I take uh, one drink. So yeah, one shot every five minutes, three drinks every shot I get, and one drink every uh, or. Three drinks every um, blue coin I get. I, I messed that up again. <sighs> Sorry, well, let me try that one more time. Uh, one shot every five minutes. Seriously, can I? Uh, my performance is already wavering. One shot every five minutes. Three drinks every shine. One drink every blue coin. There we go, I finally did it. Holy crap, that should not have been that difficult to do. Uh, this was not in the plan, the repertoire to do, but I am doing it, or as in doing this. I was gonna go into Rico Harbor and go collect a shine. But yeah, so it's been months and months since I last recorded this, and that's pretty much the only reason, and it sucks, but seriously? Oh, I'm already playing terribly. Come on. Oh my good lord. Alright, let's back up a bit, there we go. Now where am I gonna land? Holy- WHAT?! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! Come on! Come on! Okay, there we go. Alright, I got a thing. Now, uh, I must open a beer. Uh, open. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, uh, three sips. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> um, I, what I should probably say right now. Is I am of legal age. I do not live in the states, um, so I live in Canada. And in my province, you actually have to be 18 to drink. I am turning 20 this coming April, so I just go to tell you guys I am of age, and I'm not doing this legally. And and if you wish to participate in this drinking challenge, you could follow the same rules: one try every five minutes, three drinks every shine, one drink every uh, blue coin. But please be of legal age. Drink responsibly. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is also the first drunk episode I've ever done on my channel, which when I turned 18, I was kind of excited to do drunk episodes and stuff, but it just kind of never happens. Actually, that's not entirely true. I did try to record a uh, horror, horror game, a horror game, 
a horror game, but it was bad. Uh, I got stuck. It was not a very good horror game. It was... I was just walking around for like 10 minutes, um, and nothing was happening. I was like, okay, and I had the... I had the footage. Oh, I have to take another shot. I had the footage, but then uh, for like months and months and months afterwards, but I just never kind of did anything with it. So I deleted it off my computer. So that will never be a thing. All right, take another shot right now. <coughs> Ugh. All right. Ugh. Now, I just left the level. Why? At five minutes and seven seconds into <laughs> Uh, episode 8 of, uh, Josh Jefferson, Tyler, Tyler's video. Josh uses a level lever on Tyler. And since I'm on, I'm on Tyler's team, I must also use level lever at 5 minutes and 7 seconds. Holy crap. <sighs> this first episode is gonna be, first episode back, rather, is gonna be really explainy, apparently, even though most of it's already done. Ugh. Um, I should also say that I... Don't drink that much, and by that I mean I will probably on average. Actually, since I've turned 18, I probably drink maybe less than 10 times. So I mean I don't drink very much. Uh, when I do drink, I drink very not much, I guess. Or actually, I I, I do have my nights of drinking a lot, but <laughs> uh, um I don't drink as quickly as this episode asks me to. So this will be interesting. I actually have a bucket beside me in the event I do puke because it is definitely possible. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, this is great, great. Um, took only three tries to get that switch. You know you're doing well when you do that one. This will be an interesting episode to edit in the morning. Uh, I'm not feeling anything yet. Actually, that's not true. I feel warm, but that's more from the shots. The multiple shots I've taken at this point than. Um, the three sips of beer I've had. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm drinking, I'm drinking Corona beer, which is Mexican. Uh, I, I don't know why it's relevant well, that's Mexican, but it's actually the first alcohol I ever consumed, and I thought it was delicious, and that might be partially because I'm biased. Um, no, come on. I want the life. Give it to me. I, oh, I did get it. Cool. <laughs> cool beans. Cool beans, brah. All right, now this might be an issue. Okay, all righty. Simmer down. The cogs of life are turning. Okay, they get it great. Uh, yeah, don't die, please. Woo! Okay, let's go. So I have 30 seconds. I gotta go. Uh, I did practice this before recording, as I normally do in this versus at least, because I am trying to do decent. <laughs> um, oh man, I might not make this. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't want to do a water slide here. Oh no, no, there we go. Yeah, oh, good lord. It's right there, it's right there. Four seconds. Yes, I did it! Holy crap! I didn't think I was gonna get that. Oh, I just went into like full concentration mode there. Now, don't die, please. Okay, great. Holy crap, guys, I can't even. I can't even. I'm not good at these secret levels at all, and this will be interesting later on in the episode when I do take on more. Of these, oh. Phew. Oh. Another reason why I haven't come back to this series in a while is because of how freaking, like, difficult it is to... Actually, it's not really difficult. But I always plan out, like, what blue coins get and what level and all that. Which, seriously, like, each level, or each world, that probably takes a good uh, 30 minutes to, like, plan out. <clears throat> I have up until the end of Gelato Beach planned out. Uh, but yeah. So next, we're going to... Uh, Peter Park. Yeah, Peter Park. Oh, I need to take my three drinks. Ah, oh, my beer foamed up. So I tipped it back too much. Dang it. Ah, oh, that's gross. Something in my nose. Ugh. Also, we're nearing to the 10 minute mark. Which is why, which is what makes me a bit nervous. I don't. Drinking too fast could have catastrophic effects on some people. Oh no, the runaway Ferris wheel. Oh no. This is another one I practiced. Um, I feel kind of numb. Uh, I could very well die of alcohol poisoning, so rip and piece me. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at what Fruit Yoshi wants. What is that, Papple? Nanners! Oh no, aw, oh, dang it, it's a Papple. Dang it. Um, when I was uh, playing through this to make sure I knew what I'd be doing, 
uh, my practice run, if you sh if you want to call it that. I uh, found the bananas. I know the bananas are like over here somewhere. I think, right? Bananas? Okay, maybe it's just completely random when it changes every time. That's not annoying at all. <laughs> oh man, Papple, I need you, Papple. Okay, it's been ten minutes, so I just need to find a safe spot here. Uh, all right, we'll stop there. All right, pour myself another drink. All right. Here we go! <coughs> hey! I don't think much of this alcohol has hit my system yet. Yeah, that's the manners. Ugh! Very in, I don't want you! I want the baffle! Ugh, I'm kinda scared. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think much of this alcohol has really hit my system yet. So when it does hit my system, I'm sure it's gonna be very scary. Oh no 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 no! Dang it! Do I have to restart? I think I have to restart. I need I need the papple. Dang it! That sucks. Ah, that would be my life, <laughs> my life story. All right, mash mash buttons. There we go. Ah, tearing up right now. I think it might be really sad. Ah. I don't feel so good. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know, um, there's a lot of blue coins I need that are only. Actually, I don't know if they're only accessible in this level, but I know Yoshi is definitely here, and I'm sticking to my plans here. So, and at least it won't take nearly as long this time. Come on, go. Because um, I don't know where the papal is. Oh wait, but it's gonna be different, isn't it? Dang it! What do you want now? What, what is that? Bananas. Great. Let's do this. That didn't help at all. Dang it! Where's bananas? I forget. That's a pear. What appeared behind them? That's just a coin. Okay. Um. There, there we go. There we go. There we go. Awesome. And if only Yoshi wanted this the first time, that would have been great. All right. So, butterfly right here. Hey. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, butterfly right there. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, what else is there? Crap. Uh. Uh. Uh, Yoshi butterflies near Mama some sim, 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 sim. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. We're good. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all we need with Yoshi. And with that, I'm done with all or most of the um, blue coins, actually. All right. Uh, actually, got a few minutes break here, which I'm kind of thankful for. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm kind of scared to drink too much at once for obvious reasons. I guess I should use this episode to tell drug stories. So let's do that, shall we? Um, I haven't been to a bar too many times, uh, but one time I went, and I got I drank too much, and I really, really advise you guys to not. Just, if you're you know, if you're of age, don't be stupid and drink too much. But at the same time, I've always felt like um, you have to make mistakes to learn things in your life, right? That's how I've always felt. Um, Kind of make it over here, actually. There we go. Uh huh. But uh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I now, actually, when he saw this platform, these platforms eventually flip back up. But as I'm spraying water, for some reason they don't they don't hit. Also, holy crap! Over 100 blue coins already. That's crazy. Uh, that's the only blue coin I'm gaining. Actually, that's not true. Uh, but the other two are at the end of the level, so I don't have much to worry about for now. Eh, go on, get, grab that, please. But yeah. So one time I went to a bar. I drank too much. Um, I threw a bottle over the ledge of the outside patio. I don't remember why I did it, but I just remember going, Woo! Party! Woo! And I threw it. Uh, and which is really weird of me to do. Um, I'm definitely... I definitely feel like I, I'm pretty good at, like, thinking when I'm drunk. <laughs> like, I don't... People who are like, Oh, I'm drunk! And, like, go, go all crazy and all that. I've never understood that, because I'm like, Even when I drink, I can... I could process thoughts. I don't do really stupid things that are like other people do that are like really obviously stupid and I don't understand why and how people could be that stupid when they're drunk. But yeah, I guess throwing a bottle over the ledge is like an is like a complete contradiction of what I just said, but um, I did that. The world's tiniest security guard uh, she came up to me and pushed me. I was like, oh, I realized what I had done. And I was like, oh, crap, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And she said, no, it doesn't matter. You threw a bottle. And she escorted me out. 
And the crappy part was, I actually lived pretty close to this bar I went to with my friends. Um, but... Uh, I promised them I would let them stay at my house overnight, because the rest of them live pretty far away. And the plan was, we leave at when the bar closed, and then... Oh crap, it's 15 minutes, I gotta drink more. <laughs> I promised them that, um... Oh man, I gotta freaking drink more in a second here as well. <coughs> uh. Alright. I promised them a place to stay, my friends. So I got kicked out of this bar at like t <laughs> 12 a.m. let's say, and I didn't want to just leave my friends. So what I ended up doing was just sitting outside at a bus stop, uh, just waiting for the bar to close. So I sat there for like two hours, and I finally got a text at like 1:50, be like, "Hey, where are you?" Because I guess no one realized I got kicked out. And I texted back, I was like, "I'm sitting outside." And I'm like, "Okay, we're coming right now." I was like, "Okay," but they went a different way. So I started walking. Oh, I got. Take three more sips of my beer now. Ugh. All right. So I started walking down a different way, and I started walking back to my house. Actually, no, that's not true. Before that, um, I saw a vehicle drive by. It was like a white van with tinted windows, like the typical scary like pedophile van. And they stopped beside me. They opened the door. I was like, "Chris, is that you?" I'm like, "Yeah, who is that?" And like, "Do you want to ride home?" I'm like. I don't know who you are, uh, oh thank you. And what ended up happening is the next day I had work. And one of my co-workers, it was turned out to be one of my co-workers with their friends. And, uh, I was really scared because there was this, like, really big, there was this huge black guy driving the white van and that's all I saw. I heard the voice and I knew I recognized it from somewhere, but I had no idea what it was, or who it was, I should say. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, I thought I was about to die, but no. So I made it. I made. Oh, that's perfect! Holy crap! That could not have been a more perfect fruit for Yoshi to want. Give it to me! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. Why is it perfect? Don't, don't you dare. Thank you. It's perfect because this is actually. You need a specific color of Yoshi to access this level we're going to in a second here. And the fruit he needed was the exact color we needed. Killing all these guys. Holy crap, don't touch you, please. Oh, phew. Um, yeah, so, uh, I guess that was really the end of that drunken story. Don't throw bottles when you're stupid and drunk and stuff. <laughs> I don't even know how I did it. That's like one of my. That honestly, when I think of like embarrassing, disappointing moments in my life, that's probably one of the first things I think of. And I actually think I've told that story on my uh, Let's Play before. Uh, oh no! Oh, he stays alive? Oh. Okay, that's not an issue. And see, there's a missing spot on the carousel, so you use that orange Yoshi, and yay! I don't know why I'm explaining this. Who doesn't know the story of Super Mario Sunshine? I don't. <laughs> oh, I just realized I haven't been drinking for every blue coin I get. Crap! I just took an additional three drinks. Um, I know I got more than three blue coins. I'll take more drinks soon. I don't know how I forgot about that. Uh, I want that platform, please. Great. Now we must wait. Do do do. Oh, great! I mashed that A button as hard as my little baby fingers could, and nothing happened. <laughs> uh, another drunk story I have. Well, hopefully, not take as long to explain as the first one did. Uh, was one time I had no idea how much I was drinking, and then I realized I drank half of a two six, which. You don't know how much alcohol that is? Um, it's actually not that much in comparison to a lot of people, but for me, <laughs> with my low um, drinking tolerance, it was actually quite a bit. Um, okay, we actually want to wait for a while here. Uh, bam, and then bam. Okay, that was the scary part I was worried about for this entire part. For this part, entire drunk episode, I was doing those jumping things right there. Um, but yeah, I drank half a 2-6, which if you don't, just Google 2-6 or something. I, I don't even know how to really spell it. 2... something... 6? <laughs> just just Google, like, 2-6 of alcohol. So I drank half of that bottle, which you, actually, even if you do Google that, it's like, you're not gonna... If you don't know what a 2-6 is, it's not, you're not gonna really understand what that means. Since I know if I looked that up when I didn't know alcohols this is, I wouldn't know what the heck that meant. Um... Yeah. Oh no! This is terrible news! That's not racing at all! Wait, oh, I gotta jump over here. Not die, please. Oh, good lord, holy crap. Um, 
Oh man. <gasps> no! Dang it! I should have just slid down. Ugh. All right, 20 minutes in, and I'll go take another shot. Oh, rip and piece me. This might end badly. <coughs> Don't know how much of that noise. Whoa, I was like, do the platforms. <laughs> Ah. 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 Okay. Ah. Oh. I think I'm at my limit, guys. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. If I have any more, I'll probably die. So let's have another one. Just kidding. That's not. Oh man. Oh, my stomach's not feel good. <laughs> so yeah, I drank half a two six. I went to a bar. With my with two of my friends actually, and it turned out my other friend, um, Jeremy is his name. He also oh no, so Mario slowly walking to the left there, right like that. I'll explain more about that in a second why that's really bad for me. Um, but yeah, my friend Jeremy also drank way too much, so we went to this bar like we had been excited to go to since we started or since we turned eighteen. And we also had another friend with us, Jared. And essentially, Jared was the only like not really. Out of his mind, wasted guy that was there, like at least for us three. And um, <laughs> me and Jeremy were pretty much. We got to the bar, we sat there for like 20 minutes, and then Jeremy was like, "Come on, let's go do something. Let's go to the dance floor, or something, just anything." He really wanted to do something. I cannot make this jump, apparently. Oh man, that was a bad camera angle for me to go at. And um. Yeah, me and Jeremy just pretty much sat at the table because we were too drunk to the point where it's like we couldn't move. And I knew if I moved, I would throw up. I just don't feel as bad now after a few minutes of that drink. But I definitely feel like if I take at least, if I take one more shot, I'll probably throw up. So I'm probably gonna not drink an entire shot next five minutes. <laughs> we did just just get a sign, so I'll take three more drinks. Ugh. Oh man. Okay. Um, so we just kind of sat there. Actually, when I first went into the bar, I was drunk to the point where I did not recognize people's faces. And I knew my friend Jeremy was behind me in line for getting into the bar, so I'm like, oh, I'll just wait here for Jeremy. So I just kind of waited there for like 10 minutes, and I didn't see Jeremy. And like, after those 10 minutes, my friend Jared finally walked up to me and was like, hey, what's up? I was like, and I turned and I was like, Thank God you're here because honestly, I had no idea where anyone was and So essentially yeah <clears throat> And uh, after we sat in the bar for like 20 minutes of doing absolutely nothing but like feel drunk <laughs> and not do anything at all um, We decided to leave Jerry was like hey, I'm sick of this. Let's just go at this point. Don't do anything so we were started to leave, and me and Jeremy just kind of sat in the curb outside the bar. And we both kind of just threw- Oh, holy crap, I can't get any luckier than that! I wish she wants the same fruit again. Well, I mean, I could get luckier if that fruit did go all across the world, but... <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, drunk at times, it was not fun. We both threw up. I actually just kind of fell backwards and turned my head and just started pouring up. Uh, pretty much with the thought that... Uh, as soon as I throw up, I'll feel better, and I kind of did. Like, people kept walking up to us like, is that guy okay? Because I was just kind of lying on the side, but I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just kind of trying to sober up a bit here. <laughs> that's exactly what I was doing. And then we taxied home, and it was great times. Not really. It was scary time. Well, actually, it wasn't very scary. I, like, like I said, like, I, I'm capable of thought. I'm like one of those guys that, like, freak out or, like, do really stupid things. Like, I'm complete, completely capable of, like... Like the whole sober minds, drunk thoughts kind of thing. Oh man, this is so much easier with flood. Holy crap, guys. I say it as I almost die. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I tried to save myself with hover, but it didn't work. I tried so hard and I got so far, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's really the end of that junk story. The only good junk story I have is when we went to a paint party. Uh, which is where you pretty much go into these rooms 
And they have a bunch of body paints in them, and then you just kind of toss them at whoever else is in the rooms. And I actually want a free drink because of it, because, like, the DJ that was at the bar that night was like, Holy crap, you guys are awesome! You're definitely the most painted ones here! And he was all happy for us and all that, and he gave us... Or, he's like, go talk to the bartender, tell him I sent you, and give him any drink, or tell him that you can have any drink you want. Oh man, uh oh. Yeah. And this might be a bad idea. It is not. Great. So yeah, we got free drinks out of being fun. <laughs> I don't know if I got all the coins or not there. I feel like two red coins is not enough for this part of the race, or part of the, um, the thingy. The level, you know what I'm saying? Probably not. There we go. For oh, holy crap, there's two there. Alright, I know there's one up here. Alright. Alright. Uh, I know there's one down here. I'm really happy I didn't die there. I would have been really sad if I did. Oh, I saw that one. Is there one up here? I thought there was. Oh, oh, it's right there. Oh, that would be, be stupid if I clicked that shy by accident. Uh, huh. Oh man, don't die please. Okay, great. Wow. This is actually pathetically easy. And it has been 25 minutes, so I will attempt- I'll take a small shot. <gasps> Holy crap, I saw that mid-jumping animation and it looks scary. Alright, drinking a bit. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Ugh. No, I told you guys I was drinking Corona beer, but I didn't tell you I was taking shots of. So. I'm actually taking shots of, um... Uh... What's this called? Fireball! Yeah, Fireball! Cinnamon whiskey! Ugh. Which is the manliest of all manly drinks, actually, if you didn't know. <laughs> not really. Um... Actually, but it's not really too bad. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like cinnamon hearts, essentially, with alcohol mixed in, which is scary. Also, I gotta take a few more drinks. My beer is empty. Great, I gotta open up another one. Oh, 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 my mic, or my headphone jack, or my headphone wire just hit my microphone. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, no, no, no! Oh. Oh. Shut up, Mario, in the park! <laughs> My, my beer started filling me up again. <laughs> it's really awkward to have to stop every five minutes, or less than that, really. Um, I actually took four drinks there, considering I kept forgetting about the whole blue coin thing. I think I'm caught up to on blue coin drinks now, although I might have to do one more. Oh, come to think of it, this is 25 minutes, or it's been past that now. Don't hit me, please. Thank you. Uh, so it's been past 25 minutes, I don't have to drink anymore, yay! At least I don't have to take shots. No! Pianta says. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of happy about that, so I don't have to worry about dying anymore. <laughs> um, I'm kind of curious to what you guys think about... Um, I, actually, I'm really curious about looking back on this recording and, and seeing like the difference between me talking when I'm drunk. Holy crap, that was a frame rate leg. Me recording when I'm drunk and when I'm not. Uh, I feel like I say I'm a lot more. <laughs> So if you're like thinking, wow, this guy says um a lot when he's drunk for some reason. I totally thought this little thing over here, this guy, I totally thought that was Shadow Mario for a second. And he shrank for some strange reason. But no, Shadow Mario's over yonder. Come on, Shadow Mario. You're just, you're just out of my reach, man. You're just out of my reach. You're just out of my mind. Oh, I thought I got him there for a second. Come on, seriously? Oh, there we go. Darn it all. I'll remember this. Oh my god, loaded! Look at that shine! Bam! Oh, oh! Look at Flood going all crazy and stuff, etc., etc. <laughs> and Mario faces the wrong way. Three more drinks. Ugh. 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 Okay. Sadly enough. We're at the end of the episode. Uh, I had fun with this. I really gotta pee right now. And I just realized that, like, right now. Hey! Freaking toad. Um, I guess I can just take a minute and walk around. 
I mean, it, yeah, that's pretty much in the episode. We have 20 seconds left, unless... Well, I mean, this is not going to go well if I can't do this for... Oh, yeah! I was going to explain. The reason why Mario was walking slowly to the left was bad news for me was because my controller died the other day. Okay, the episode just ended right now. Never mind, I can't get a shine I wanted to check out. Um, I went to my friends the other night, actually about a week and a half ago, and we went to go play Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And as everybody knows, like, Super Smash Bros. Brawl is for the Wii, right? But GameCube controllers are way better than Wii controls. So we both wanted to use GameCube controllers, and I brought my GameCube controller, but whenever I plugged it in, uh, the button would hold to the left, like this right now. This is what essentially would actually no, it would hold to the right, sorry. And so no matter what I did, if I unplugged it and didn't touch anything and plug it back in, nothing would work at all. And I just plugged it in back in today and it wasn't working, and I was like, ugh. So I tested my... Th I have three other GameCube controllers and none of them work! It's so stupid. They're all third-party controllers. One of them, I don't even know what the brand is. They have no branding on it at all, which is kind of weird. Uh, one of them also has a problem where I where you walk to the left constantly or something like that. Actually, no, no, that's not the problem. The problem is the R button doesn't work on it for whatever reason. And the other controller just plainly doesn't work at all. We also have a Mad Cats controller, which uh, kind of works, but the A button stuck down and it was it's kind of it sucks to use. So I was really sad. I started googling around if there's any way to fix a broken game controller. And through Googling, I found that if you hold the, the start, X, and Y button, it, rec it recalibrates your um, GameCube controller, which I'm doing right now, pointlessly, because you guys can't see what I'm doing. But it also says, like, and what I found from Googling is unplugging and plugging back in should do the exact same thing as holding start, X, and Y. So, like, unplugging my controller didn't work at all. I even blew into it, like, like old school um, NES cartridges, like you would do with those. Bam! Um, but yeah, so I'm so happy I found out the holding start, X and Y, because that worked, and I was so like, I was so hopeless, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to use, I have to buy a new GameCube controller, it sucks! But it somehow worked, and I'm so happy about it, I do notice sometimes, like, you will, I will start walking slowly to the left, like I was earlier in this episode when I commented on it, but for the most part, it works pretty well, so thank god for that, although that does tell me I should probably consider ordering a new... GameCube controllers, since I do have more GameCube games, I do want to let's play eventually. But I really gotta pee at this point, guys. So this is actually a like, two-minute spiel. I'm not gonna go into like I don't know if you guys do watch Tacky Toucans and Josh Epson or not, but their episode, their episode eight of their um, um, Super Mario Sunshine versus two, where they talk about or at the end of the episode they spend like an additional like nine minutes talking about how like they did, they did a whole bunch of mushy mushy stuff. I was like, I love you guys. YouTube changed my life, etc., etc. <laughs> Which is fine, but kind of funny for me to watch because I'm like, oh my god, this is the, this is seriously a really drunk moment. But uh, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Super Mario Sunshine Versus. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I just said that. I literally just said it. What the heck? Deb's alert. Mysterious bacon of Labioni has a uh, Labioni. I, I was trying to go for um. What's that? Oh, what's that food called? Lasagna. I was thinking lasagna, but I was like lav Lavioli. No, and that's ravioli. Whatever. <laughs> I don't eat foods. I eat rocks for a living. Okay, I'm gonna stop sounding like a dumbass, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I already did this entire spiel, so I'm just going to shut up now. Goodbye. See you guys next sometime. I don't know. Whenever I start posting this, uh, these episodes. Just Jeff said an attack of two cans are actually on episode 13 right now. So I'm um, like, what's this? This is episode 8. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm five episodes behind. I do want to get cut up, so expect these episodes quite a bit in the next like week or so. But I'm obviously not going to record again now because I am drunk. A little bit. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye!